Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Last year I got a little box of goodies from the company Outdoor Element. They didn't ask for anything from me, they just said, hey look, we know you love the outdoors and we know you love outdoor gear, so check out our gear and see what you think. They didn't ask for any reviews or anything and I'm by no means going to review everything they sent me because they sent me quite a bit of stuff. I did review one of their knives and today we're going to review another one of their products that I think is really cool. It's actually two products that are very similar. So stay tuned and on this rainy day we're going to take a look at these awesome little products, little carabiners from Outdoor Element. Stay tuned, they're a lot more than your regular carabiner. Emergency preparedness has been a pretty hot topic recently, especially with the way the world is going these days, and you always want to be ready for anything whenever you leave your house. Sure, that can mean endless amounts of food stored at home, water wells drilled, even bunkers dug in the backyard. Unless you live in Louisiana where you can't really, can't really dig a bunker. Anyway, you don't have to get that crazy. You can use something as simple as this Outdoor Element product. This is the Fire Escape Multi-Tool carabiner from Outdoor Element. Dimensions are 5.75 by 3. Weight is 1.6 ounces made out of stainless steel. Price is $24.95. You look at it and you say, boy, that's, that's a lot of money. But look, you get quite a bit for it. Some of the features. Up here, it has a little spark wheel. Patented called the EverSpark. Okay. Over here, there's a little hole and you can unscrew that and inside it shoots all the way through the, um, the body here and is the ferro rod basically or flint that is activated by this wheel. It is called the Everspark wheel and it comes with a replaceable ferro rod. They are tiny and I have no idea where I put them. I have like three of them. One of these days I'll find them but they're gonna last a long time and you can buy extras if you need to for very little money. It has this covered area over here this is like a seat belt cutter, basically, wanting to get through a seat belt if you need to uh, get out of a car quickly or cut anything like webbing, etc. And it's nice. Of course, it's very, very sharp. Okay, very sharp. And it does have the nice little cover to make sure that it doesn't catch anything or cut anything you don't want it to. It has this tungsten carbide tip window breaker. You can grab it like this, okay, and you can try to break a window with it whichever way you want you can grab it like this boom all right pretty interesting this is an oxygen wrench right here if you need to uh, work with an oxygen container if you have a family member or something that uses oxygen you can use that right here you can see right here a place for a hex wrench you can put a hex bit in there and use it i'll show you guys that here in a second you can use this little bit right here as a bottle opener if you want and all that with a carabiner that is rated to 125 pounds. So pretty, pretty good deal. Let me show you a little bit about how you can use this thing. In case you're interested, they also have a couple other products. This is the Fire Beaner. Uh, dimensions are 5.75 by 3, weighs only 1.1 ounces. One ounce, guys. Pretty awesome tool for one ounce. Price is $14.95. Again, has the EverSpark wheel, which I think is awesome for backpacking. An easy, easy way to get your butane uh, stove lit, like I showed you guys earlier. Several different places you can hang from, so you could Put some cordage through here, use this to hang your bear bag. Uh, it's rated up to 100 pounds, so you definitely will not have any problems putting a good amount of weight or a big heavy pack at the end of it. it has a utility blade right here. That utility blade is replaceable. Like most of the stuff on these Outdoor Element products, they are replaceable. Bottle opener right there. You also have this little flat head screwdriver. I don't know if you can see it, but it actually works very, very well. You can use it as a screwdriver. And of course, it's a carabiner a hundred pound carabiner. 15 bucks just for the for the Everspark I think is almost worth it when you're carrying stuff you can start um, 
a fire product with this. Say for example the fire plug from Pro Cam Tech, you could easily use it with this. But in case you're wanting something similar to the um, Escape Multi-Tool, don't want to spend so much money, I think this fire beaner, especially for backpackers, is an awesome piece of kit. So that's a quick and dirty look at these products from the company Outdoor Element. They are based out of Colorado here in the United States. They seem to be pretty innovative in the things that they're producing. The, the quality of their products are excellent, and I think that the price is reasonable given the amount of engineering and intellectual property that they put in to these products. These tools are lightweight, simple to carry, inconspicuous, and they can get you out of a difficult situation if you need to. I also think they're great gifts if you're interested in giving kind of the gift of preparedness to other people, people that aren't necessarily in the same mindset as you. This is a great gift. They can pop it onto their keychain and have a lot of different functions right there and maybe convert them into a different mindset of thinking maybe I should be a little more prepared. If something as simple as this little carabiner on my keychain can help out so much, maybe I should pay more attention at home. What do you guys think? Do you like the product? I definitely like this product from Outdoor Element, both of them in particular, but I do like the Emergency Escape Carabiner the most. If you guys are interested, I'll leave links down below. Not affiliate links, nothing like that, just links to this company. Like I said, I think they put out great products. They were nice enough to send these to me to try out, and I really liked them enough to make a video. If you guys liked it, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Really helps spread things across YouTube. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit that notification bell down below and you will be the first to know. As you can see, it's pretty rainy here on this 560 plus acres of land that I rented in Arkansas to shoot some videos. This is really the first day that the weather's bad and it's going to rain like this all day long. So I've got plenty of videos to shoot inside. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.